What happens when you're trying to make progress, but all of a sudden it feels like you hit this ceiling in terms of what you're able to charge? Every time you try and push your charges up, you get told to stick or you get pushed down. So we're a prod, that's the Instagram name here um, from Senegal, uh, really raises an issue that many of us have faced at some point in your career. The aim is, is that we want to push our pricing up, right, so that um, we're able to earn more. We've only got so much time. So that means we either spend more hours doing what we do or we have to find a way of increasing the pricing. So what I've had to do whenever I face this problem is actually look deep within myself and within the business and try and work out where the weak link is. So it could be that you need to look at yourself as an individual. Okay? It could be the way you present yourself. It could be the way you speak and articulate yourself on the phone or on email. It could be that it's something to do with the way your business presents itself. Right? Um, perhaps the branding just doesn't feel right. Perhaps your portfolio is outdated and old and it doesn't really represent the type of work that you can do. Or maybe what it is, is the actual skill that you possess is not up to the standard um, that is competitive within the market. Right? When people compare you to other people, there's not enough value there for them. So look at, one of, look at all three of those things and work out what the weakest link is because you are only as good as your weakest link. And if you focus on that weakest link, find out a way of improving it, then you will probably find that once again, you're able to nudge the pricing up. But what will happen is at some point, you're going to get stuck again. And that's fine because all you do is you go back and you look at those three core things. You look at yourself, you look at your business, and you look at your skill or the product or service that you actually provide and you work out how you can increase the quality of any one of those things and once again things will become fluid again. So good luck uh, and I'm going to try and see what I can do to help you with a further series of videos digging into one of those three elements. Will that be helpful? As always thank you to those of you who support here on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, if you found uh, value in this content, please feel free to subscribe or maybe just like if you do like. And as always, what I really appreciate and what I love is any comments. Uh, if there's a suggestion, uh, maybe you disagree with something I've said or maybe you have another suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. And if you have a, a question for me, feel free to throw it in the comments and we're going to do our best as a team to see what we can do to answer.